It's awful that nobody in this room knew what to do in that situation. Awkward silences or not knowing how to deal with them are a person's biggest etiquette faux pas. Imagine a first date and the potential guy or girl of your dreams is sitting across the table from you. Conversation's been flowing smoothly until you hit a blank. You've got nothing to say. You're racking your brains for something interesting or witty to talk about, but you have nothing. This will ruin your life. Okay, it probably won't ruin your life, but it could potentially ruin your evening and very possibly your chances that you have with that guy or girl. Now, this would not be so had you been educated correctly from the start. For example, taking a Dealing with Awkward Situations class weekly during your time at school. This class will cover many things on the curriculum. For example, the very classic and well-known Awkward Turtle. By making simple gestures with your hands, you can quite easily start a conversation. Just pull out one of your hand gestures, and chances are the person with whom the awkward silence is amounting will ask what you're doing, to which you can reply, why? This is the awkward turtle, or giraffe, or elephant, or whichever hand gesture you may decide to use. Of course, for those severely awkward situations, you do have the awkward animal noises. For example, the awkward chicken noise. Okay. <laughs> now, there is absolutely no way, no way that people won't ask what you're doing after you cluck at them. Am I right? I believe that all children, teenagers and adults like yourselves should be entitled to an education in this mandatory life skill. If you are yet to be swayed by my ideas, I challenge you. Next time you're in an awkward situation, just cluck at them. Okay, they could think you're insane. But chances are the awkward situation will be relieved and you'll be assured that there is method to my madness. Thank you.